Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susan and I am a mentor for spiritually awakening women. And this is my series. I've kind of dropped it for a while, but this is my series where I go through the major things I learned during my near death experience, which happened in August of 2017. <music> For those of you guys who don't know, I had become really ill with chronic Lyme disease and I knew I was going to die one night. I was headed up the stairs and this is a, a much longer story obviously, but my guides gave me the intuition that I had to get out of my body that night and get help. And I have astral traveled before for many years, but I'd never done it on command. So I had accepted it that night. But then with this intuition coming in, I was like, all right, I've got one last thing to try. And, and this uh, series is what happened from that experience. Um, there is a video, if you check my, my channel, there is a video that kind of goes through the entire experience. But this is a breakdown of my greatest realizations from this amazing experience. And this is number eight. And it kind of feeds off of number seven. And I'll just tell you that briefly. Number seven was, without a doubt, I knew I could have just murdered someone. And I would have been greeted by God just the same. So it might even help to go back and watch that video because that might sound even a little more shocking. But to bring you guys into the experience a little more because I haven't made one of these tapes in quite a while. So when I was with God for that portion of this journey, he appeared like endless beaming uh, rays of golden light. That's what, what I, I took in. And I actually steeped in his presence, almost like a tea bag in a mug of tea. I was in my astral body and I was with him and we merged. And I viscerally felt exactly what he was made of and, and in these videos I tried to kind of relay everything that came to pass. And there were actually different parts of that journey. That wasn't it. After that I, I went on with a being who looked like Jesus and, and we actually healed together. And then there was another leg of the journey after that. But this is just about that time that I spent merged with God. And I say God not out of alignment with any religion. I don't believe it's possible to stuff whatever God is into any human word. So I do just use that basically out of laziness because I've always said it my whole life. But please know I don't, I don't orbit inside of any religion. I just love God and love spirit and I've dedicated my life to it, but I don't resonate with any of the groupings of behaviors or practices of any religion. And if you do, I completely honor that, by the way. Um, but, but during this time, like I said, when I was completely steeped in, in God's presence, um, we, we, we shared a, a conversation. It was without words. It was an effortless energetic exchange. That's how I would put it. And the feeling of it was very much akin to what I would think of as like a two pronged plug plugging into the socket. I have made a lot of mistakes in my life, just like you have. I'm sure that's, that's very uh, common of all human experiences. We are emotionally messy. We make, you know, <laughs> we make crazy decisions based off our messy emotions, all of that. So, and I've really gone to some dark places in my life too. I was born clairvoyant. I had a hell of a time dealing with that. I wasn't believed. Uh, and so I kind of internalized that in a bad way and, and grew up really believing I was crazy. And I, I swore never to talk about it. I was like, no one can know this, you know, and I, I, I kind of thought I was crazy. And it wasn't until this near death experience that I even came out of the spiritual closet. But during this time, when I was completely steeped 
in God. I knew this without a shadow of a doubt. I was wholly loved, just like you, no matter who you are, no matter what. And these are just words I understand following the experience, but that was something I viscerally experienced as truth. And I mean truth with a capital T. Trying to frame that and give that to you via the English language feels insanely insufficient, but I do want to try. Because there was not even a flicker or a waver in that God energy as it embraced me. I was wholly loved. And like I said in the tape before, I knew it so viscerally. I knew it as such truth that I actually thought while immersed in God's energy, I could have just murdered someone right now. I had that thought during that experience. During this entire experience, I was 100% as awake and, and conscious as I am with you right now. So, so these memories of mine, they're not even like when you remember a dream, when you remember some fragments are clear and then others not so much. This entire experience was as if I was experiencing completely awake. I was completely conscious. There was no haze from the moment I got out of my body to the moment I came back in. It was just as I'm talking to you right now. I knew I was wholly loved without any wavering, without any exception, without, without any degree of judgment on anything I had ever done. And this I knew while immersed, while wholly steeped in God. And I wanted to share that with you. It's so powerful. No matter who you are or what you've done, no matter how you align spiritually or religiously, no matter if you don't believe in religion or you're an atheist, the source energy that created us has no opinion of us other than sheer and total and nearly unrecognizable love. And I made a tape about that too. The love that I experienced as God was so incredibly different than anything we know or have experienced or exchanged between us here on earth. And that's why on some earlier videos, I actually describe that a little more. And, and I say, you know, the word I would use to ascribe to God because that love is impossible. It's impossible to describe. And the love, the, the word rather that I settled on to best encompass God, using the English language at least, to me was, was actually freedom. And that is because that love was so pure, it couldn't possibly fit inside that word love as we know it. But this I know for sure no matter what you've ever done, there literally is nothing but complete and total and unwavering, devoid of personality, devoid of opinion or judgment, just purely sheer love. And to me, that's some of the most exciting and hopeful news that I could ever hope to give away from my experience. Because how difficult is it for all of us? We are always searching for more and more love, especially when it comes to self-love. That seems to be, for so many women I know, the hardest love to embrace. 
So I hope you take this in your heart and I, I hope you keep it there going forward. And let it sit there and, and let it percolate. I know that's a, it's a little hard to take in because even with our parents, for example, that's such an archetypal relationship, right? But even with our parents, there are ups and downs and there can be judgments and, and falling outs. This is nothing, nothing like it, not even close. So all my love to you. I'm so grateful to be here with you. And if you are a woman, I'd love to have you in my Facebook group, Divining Women, because that is where we do live Q&As every Thursday. And it's really fun. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. And please share this with anyone who you think might take heart from it and take inspiration from it. All my love to you and see you soon. Mm -hmm.